Well, we're struggling right along here. We got the uh, all engines on, but then discovered on the final engine it was it was a bad engine, so I had to remove that. Placed an order for another one, so that is a bad engine. So it's got something wrong with the brushes and the magnets on it. But uh, it jams up, it locks up on me. But anyhow, I was in the middle of hooking up the gimbal here, getting the gimbal set on. I got the legs on. The, the two halves are now together. So now it's pretty much a question of uh, getting everything wired together. So anyhow, we're in the middle of testing this gimbal out here. And uh, we'll just connect the power up here. Okay. There we go. And our gimbal is now working. So, yep. Yeah. I'm kind of hesitant because I just got bare wires hanging here. Don't want to rustle it around too much. So that is like 12 volts. So, but, uh, yep. Yeah. So, it's keeping that, that engine, or that motor steady. The gimbal steady for the camera. So... Oh, kind of hard to demonstrate with it sitting on the bench, but she is working. So, got her gimbal on. Now we just got to figure out. Uh, I did find out that uh, this stupid knockoff Chinese camera is not going to work. This was supposed to be a a GoPro clone, and the problem is it's the USB is reversed on it. It's facing backwards. And it's also on top, whereas on the original, like GoPro, it's on the bottom and facing forward. So that kind of screws me up um, because there is a there's a circuit board that mounts right here and uh, comes around here, and it's supposed to just snap right in to that USB port for video out and battery charging. But unable to do that, so I ended up placing an order for a, a Hero Three. That sucks. Um, I think there's one other model that of camera I could have used had I known that was a little uh, cheaper. Um, but uh, anyhow, we're just getting the gimbal on there. I don't know what I'm going to use for, you know, to, you got the video out. I don't know what I'm going to take the video out to yet. So uh, right now I'm just having some difficulty in uh, when I'm, when I got the receiver and the, this NASA module hooked up. Uh... For some reason the um, that I haven't discovered yet, the engines are not running uh, when I throttle up with the uh, Tyrannus. It's, it's something I'm just not doing right, um, but I'm, I don't appear to be to be getting throttle power to the ESCs to the motors. So that's got me really confused. I know that the NASA the GPS does work because I took it outside yesterday and uh, hooked that up. So I know that it is. It does get a, a GPS signal, and I also had to fiddle around with the uh, Tyrannus here, um, the Fire Free Sky, to uh, uh, set it, be able to take it off fail-safe mode. And I have an attitude GPS, uh, an attitude mode, and a uh, manual mode. So, and then my this right here is my fail-safe. I can flip it on and off. So. Um, so I'm not sure what exactly what's going on with these ESCs, but I sure wish it it, it would have been nice to have had somebody else familiar, you know, with uh, transmitters and receivers uh, as a, you know, somebody I could have bounced a couple questions off of, probably would have within five minutes been able to answer them. But as is the case always in Lyme, Ohio, nobody knows diddly squat. So anyhow, uh, that's all I got, man. So we'll disconnect our... There we go. More power to that. That's a 12 volt source, so I'll have to figure out some voltage down to that. Probably from the this the three cell uh, that I'll have up here. I have another battery pack up here to provide power to like the camera, the navigation lights, things like that. The um, this is going to be powered by the main battery pack, the NASA and the transmitter. Um, so just for little odds and ends, we'll have another battery pack up here. So. 
all right well that about covers it so for now i mean it's, it's coming together you know to the bitter end it's a struggle it really is so it's now like i said we're getting into the electronics part and whew, man with each one of these things there's there's firmware you got to update the firmware then you got to configure the module and it's like Man, there's just there's a lot to do because even with the gimbal, there's configuration software. With NASA, there's configuration software. With the radio and the trans the transmitter and the receiver, there's configuration software, firmware for all this stuff. And it's like it's just mind-boggling. It's 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 starting to really kind of uh, get me a little bit uh, befuddled. So, um, anyhow, well, that's all I got. Wish there were more RC hobbyists that I knew that could help me here. Uh, as it is right now, it's just a question of looking stuff up and research and discovering it all on my own. So, all right, that's all I got. Later.